Hi, I'm Jack from LegalExpert.co.uk. We are personal injury claims specialists. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we offer a no win, no fee service. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at no win, no fee, cycling slash bike accident compensation claims. I'll be taking a look at whether or not you can claim, how to claim, and how much you may be entitled to by looking at personal injury compensation amounts if you've been involved in a bike slash cycling accident which has resulted in an injury. So that's personal injury compensation, how much you may be entitled to, and how to claim. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, please do hit that thumbs up button as this will help us see what type of content people find helpful. People cycle for a multitude of reasons, for health and fitness, as a mode of transport and as a leisure activity. But there can be times when cyclists are involved in accidents, accidents that can cause injuries. If you've been involved in a cycling accident and it wasn't your fault, you may be entitled to compensation. So how do you begin the process of claiming compensation for a cycling slash bike accident injury. Well, in order to bring a claim for an accident resulting in a cycling slash bike accident injury, we recommend that you reach out to a personal injury claims, no win, no fee solicitors that has experience in dealing with cycling slash bike accident injury claims. The good news for you is that we at legalexpert.co.uk are happy to offer you a completely free, no obligation consultation. We will talk through the accident with you in order to help you establish what your options are. You can speak to us whenever you'd like as we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week by calling our free phone helpline which is 0800 652 7676 or visit our around the clock live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. Now, if you're wondering how much compensation will I get for a bike accident, we'll shortly be looking at bicycle accident settlement amounts in the UK for any injuries caused for a cycling accident. But it's important that you bear in mind that these cycling claim examples of payouts are the amounts that you may receive for your injury alone, which means that your final claim amount may be significantly larger as the figures that we'll shortly be going over don't include any additional sums for things like loss of income from time off work and any other expenses. We recommend that you reach out to us as we'll be able to use our bicycle accident compensation calculator in order to help you establish how much you may be entitled to in total. Now following this consultation we will talk through your cycling slash bike accident compensation injury claim with you. If we believe that we're able to assist you we may offer to represent you on a no win no fee basis. Now this means that there won't be any upfront fees but most importantly if your case was to lose then there's not a penny to pay. Now. As promised, let's take a look at personal injury compensation amounts for a cycling slash bike accident injury in our compensation claim amount table. In front of us, we have the table for cycling accident compensation claim amounts. And first we have head injuries. For extremely serious head injuries, you could expect to receive anything from £224,800 right the way up to £322,060. For serious to moderate head injuries, you could expect to receive anything from £12,210 right the way up to £224,800. Then for a mild head injury, you could expect to receive anything from £1,760 right the way up to £10,180. Then we're on to back injuries. For an extremely serious back injury, you could expect to receive anything from £30,910 right the way up to £128,320. For a serious to moderate back injury, you could expect to receive anything from £9,970 right the way up to £30,910. Then for a mild back injury, you could expect to receive anything from £350 right the way up to £9,970. Then neck injuries. For an extremely serious neck injury, you could expect to receive anything from £36,240 right the way up to £118,240. For a serious to moderate neck injury, you could expect to receive anything between £6,290 right the way up to £30,690. Then for a mild neck injury, you could expect to receive anything from £1,950 right the way up to £6,290. For an extremely serious shoulder injury, you could expect to receive anything from £15,300 right the way up to £38,280. For a serious to moderate shoulder injury, you could expect to receive anything from £6,290 right the way up to £15,300. 
than for a mild shoulder injury. You could expect to receive anything from £350 right the way up to £6,290. Then we're on to arm injuries. For an extremely serious arm injury, you could expect to receive anything from £76,650 right the way up to £239,140. For a serious to moderate arm injury, you could expect to receive anything from £31,220 right the way up to £104,370. For a mild arm injury, you could expect to receive anything from £4,500 right the way up to £31,220. Then elbow injuries. For a serious to moderate elbow injury, you could expect to receive anything between £31,220 right the way up to £43,710. Then for a moderate elbow injury, you could expect to receive anything from £12,480 right the way up to £25,510. Then for a mild elbow injury, you could expect to receive anything up to £10,040. Then leg injuries. You could expect to receive anything between £78,100 right the way up to £224,800 for extremely serious leg injuries. Then for serious to moderate leg injuries, you could expect to receive anything from £22,130 right the way up to £108,370. Then for a mild leg injury, you could expect to receive anything up to £9,440. Then finally, knee injuries. For an extremely serious knee injury, you could expect to receive anything from £41,550 right the way up to £76,690. For a serious to moderate knee injury, you could expect to receive anything from £20,880 right the way up to £43,660. Then finally, a mild knee injury. You could expect to receive anything up to £20,880. I'd like to emphasize that these figures are the amounts that you may receive solely as an award for the injury itself and does not include the amount of any loss of income from time off work or any expenses you've incurred or may incur as part of your compensation sum, which means that the amount of your claim is likely to be larger. Once again, if you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button as this will help us see what type of content people find helpful. Thanks. Of course, the circumstances of each incident are never the same. And whether or not you believe you have a valid claim, it's always advisable that you speak to an expert on the matter. So if you'd like further assistance, we are personal injury claim specialists. We offer free, friendly advice on no win, no fee compensation claims. So there's not a penny to pay if you lose. Get the maximum compensation that you deserve. We're rated 4.8 out of 5 stars and we have specialist solicitors with up to 30 years experience. It'll only take just a couple of minutes for our team who'll be happy to answer any questions you may have to help establish whether or not you have a valid claim. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or visit our live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. You can also check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice from our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no win no fee basis with your personal injury claim.